Hi everybody, welcome to another tutorial on Nano Studio 2. In the last video we looked at the song editor. In this video we are going to go through the part editor. So here we are inside a typical um, project um, in Nano Studio 2. Let's click on uh, the view to see the different tracks. And let's click under one track and double click on it. And here we are inside the part editor. Okay, so let's go through the different controls. So first of all, you have the usual plus and minus to zoom in and out. You can move up and down to scroll. Okay, you can also click on the plus and minus here horizontally. And then, of course, you can scroll also the view horizontally, and you can also click on these arrow to remove the different vertical and uh, horizontal scroll bars. Okay, then here you have a symbol for uh, um, to emit the sound. So if it is disabled, when you click on the note, nothing happens. If it is enabled, when you click on the note on the notes on the keyboards on the piano roll, you will hear a sound. Okay, that makes sense. So then we have a grid selection as we had uh, also on the uh, song editor. Here is, you, is where you can establish the uh, the grid division. So now is 1 16th, um, but you can change it to a bar, for example. You can see straight away the differences to half of a bar, a quarter, etc. You can see that is changing. You can also uh, change the swing and you can see the different bars moving and you can also set what is the unit to measure for the swing as well here okay and then you can have all uh, as always also as you had um, in the song editor the ability to snap or not to grid okay so let's go back to the one sixty fourth of a grid you have a zoom option where you can set the zoom a minimal you can zoom all you can also zoom to a selection if you've done a selection you can also zoom to the beginning or to the end depending on what notes you have available on the screen and actually to that extent let's click on the draw and just type some some notes like that okay let's click zoom all and here you have a visibility to some of the notes okay um so for example if we click on select and we just select a particular note so if we say zoom for example all you see them all but if you say zoom beginning it moves towards the beginning if if i say zoom towards the end it moves to the end you can see how that changes depending on the selection um you can toggle the selection like so so if you click on it and you click again you can select it or unselect it if instead the toggle is off when you click is selected if you click again and it still remains selected okay let's disable the sound for now in terms of other selection you can also select um, uh, everything as you can see there or uh, let's add a couple of more notes like so you can also select uh, a row in that case it will select the entire row here okay or you can inverse in the selection so look what happens so the notes which were selected are deselected and the one which were not selected are now selected okay and uh, and you can also select double notes which are the notes which are overlapping over each other which um, and to, to make an example so let's uh, for example add the note here okay and then let's go back to the selection let's click on that uh, note there and here you, you can see when you select notes you have different controls here so for example if you click on this one and move you can move it left and right okay or if you click on this other control you can extend the length okay which becomes really interesting here vertically you can move it up and down okay here you can move it uh, to the next row okay very interesting and also this one you can move it up of an octave or down an octave the other thing you see also here is the selection of velocity which is uh, shown by that little bar inside the note so you can click on that and um, 
course change the velocity up or down you can see the progress bar or that bar which looks like a progress bar changing which is your velocity okay so if I had that note and I was to move it now overlapping that note there and I was if I was to go into select and select double it will select those so try again there you go it will select the other two notes because they are double and of course you can um, delete the notes because it's the double note on top of the other one in terms of drawing uh, of course you can or doing normally as we were doing now like so for notes and you can click of course and hold for a different duration uh, however you can also have other option if you click and hold you can say select grid repeat 164 because that is the grid that we are selected over here at the beginning so if you click and hold um, this is what happens you can have uh, uh, different notes which are repeated according to the grid and it will go only horizontally as you can see okay however if i select also multiple rows which becomes available when you have the grid repeat on you will see an interesting effect look now you can move up or down so interesting effect in terms of moving in multi-row in terms of then selecting a particular note as you can see if you are in draw uh, it will remove the note if um, uh, if you are selecting of course so let's deselect the draw Okay, so we can select the note you can duplicate that so you click on it and you can duplicate it like so if you click and hold you can say duplicate it four times eight times etc etc you also have action so you click on the action you can say loop to part if you loop to part and you go back to the song editor view you can see that the looping has been enabled here you can double click to disable them again okay let's uh, um, select zoom all again and of course you can also use pinch uh, like so using your fingers of course let's ex select the note again let's go to action so we looked at the loop to start of course we can select two notes for example if we say like a lasso click and hold we select two notes and then we go to action we say join them it will join them together or if I put the cursor somewhere in the middle and I have that note selected and I go to action, I can split them. You can see two notes created. Additionally, you can quantize them and I'll show you these in a different tutorial because we're going to spend a little bit more time on it. You can copy, of course, and that note and then you can also paste that note as well. And of course, you can also decide to go back to the song editor like so. Okay, that is a quick view of the part editor. So now you are familiar on how to use it and we will continue the journey on how to learn Nano Studio in the next video. I hope you enjoyed and found this useful and as always, see you next time. Bye.